Okay, so this is the first real video in the video series Make Money Online. 10,000 questions. How do you really make money online? And this is part one. Now, part one is going to concentrate on the first step that you really should make in the process of what it takes to make money online. Now, you remember we said in the introduction that the first thing you need is a place to sell. If you don't have a place that people can come to, to look at your goods, to your service or your product, then you don't really have the beginning of a business. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to focus on what it is that you need to have in place and how you actually do that. So of course, a place to sell to would be a website. Remember, we're on the internet, so you have to have a website. It is the only obvious way in which to get people to come and look at your product. So what does it take in this part of the process to make money with a website? What do we have to do in order to get a website business up and running? So what do you need to own a website business? Let's just go through the things that you have to have in place before you can get a website up. Well, you're going to need a domain name. Now, a domain name is just the business name. That's the business name that goes above your shop, your office, your warehouse, whatever it is that you would run a business in the off world. Well, that's what this is in the in world. OK, on the Internet, it's a domain name. So that is something that you have to have. Now, you can own a domain name very, very cheaply. It will cost you somewhere between six dollars and ten dollars per year and then you can have as many years as you want you cannot do it for one year and renew every year or you can go two years three years four years five years any way up you can want that name okay once you've got that domain name so once you've got that business address you then need to host that domain name you need a hosting account now on the off world a hosting account would be where you stay your shop OK. It would be you going to a landlord and saying, I would like to put my business name above your shop and I need that to be in a nice prominent street where everybody's going to come and find me. Well, fortunately, that hosting account is much easier to set up and much more productive than a shop in a street in the off world. Why? Well, simply because this internet, this hosting is like one big long street. There's no turnings. It doesn't matter if you've got a million pounds to run a shop or just a hundred pounds to run a shop. The internet does not discriminate. How you build your business, the process you put in place is what's important. So this hosting account is a very great way to get a business up and running. So your domain name your website has to be hosted somewhere. Someone has to be the landlord. That would be a hosting account. Now you can pay anything from $5 to $25 per month, pretty much, for a hosting account. And the $5 end would be just to host one website. You're just going to build one website and you're going to host that website from a hosting account. That's about four or five dollars, maybe six dollars per month. If you decided you want to have multiple websites because you want to build a bit of an empire, then you would want to go up the ladder to somewhere around twenty five, twenty six dollars per month, which would then give you unlimited access to as many websites as you wanted to create. OK, so now you've got the shop, you've got the name above the shop. Now you need to dress this shop up. Now we need to make this shop unique and ready to sell your product or your service. This would, of course, be the website. It's the theme or the template. It's the content. It's the product. It's what goes inside that website to attract people. These are things you have to have in place. Once you've done that, once you've got the right content and the product, you are ready to go. Now, because WordPress is very powerful and very simple, these five steps here, you could do yourself. It is easy to create a product. It is easy to take someone else's product, put it inside your content, inside your website, which is on a hosting account, which is the domain name that you've bought, and you can do all this yourself. Or 
you just might need a designer and a webmaster because your skills are not as good as good as you would like them to be you might have a typical simple theme but you might just want a logo or a design that just specifies what it is that you do something unique to you well you might not have the skills to do that you might want to get someone else to do that that would be a designer you may decide that you have no idea how to take a domain name and to put it with a hosting account to create a website you have no idea how to do the content or the product in which case you would use the skills of a webmaster and that webmaster would do all that for you so very very easy and very very simple to take the first step to actually find a place where you can sell your goods your product or your service so very simple what we will cover on the next one is how you put this process together and the kind of costs that's involved in doing that okay we are on the first stage we are building a website remember this video series tells all discover the easiest answer to the hardest question how do you make money online we do that by following a simple process you've just followed the first process don't miss a second this gets really really good